Hello my friends, welcome to part 93 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We are playing on ultra difficulty and we are, <laughs> are we actually here guys. I'm sad, I feel mixed emotions but it looks like this is it. <laughs> this is the end of the game. So we're now going to do the looming shadow. That's our final main quest in the entire game. So last episode we completed the frozen wilds actually fully completed meaning i've done everything that needed to be done there we took on all of the fire claws which was not easy <laughs> but it was a lot of fun guys um if i want to fight i might may put out a video at some point uh, me just fighting a fire claw arrows only i don't know whatever but the points i'm making is frozen wilds is done it's all done i'm gonna miss our attack i still feel sad Arrayas died. It's yeah, it's it's an emotional one for me guys. It's all done. So all collectibles are done It's all done <laughs> so Nothing more I can say so we're gonna go ahead and do this and just to give you an update as well Okay, if you guys have been following my playthrough, I told you guys I'm gonna do like a lore video It's only optional. You don't have to watch it guys. It's it's really to be honest with you guys the the video I recorded for that it's it's more for myself you know i just wanted to read out the vantage point story you know i wanted to do the um uh what you call it the banuk artifact story I'd, you know read that out is more for myself and maybe find some more data points which i did actually and i found a really weird place just real quick um where is it Oh, I know, it's up here. Guys, I was down here. Uh, by the way, we collected all collectibles and I've sold everything to the speciality merchant. So that's all been taken care of already. But I'll post that video up after the ending. But anyway, around here, you see this, um, I was trying to, you know, kind of explore these skyscrapers here. Guys, there's tons of corrupted snap moors. And they just respawn and respawn. No matter how many you kill. I mean, we killed them easily because we're quite overleveled. But they just kept respawning. I was trying to not go out of bounds. I was just trying to see the skyscrapers and just have a look around. But, um, yeah, I, I was prevented from doing so. So it's quite a weird place. If anyone's got any more information about that place, I'd be most grateful. All right, guys. So that said... Let's do the Looming Shadow. <laughs> Here we go. It's a main quest. Hades intends to use the Spire to transmit a resurrection signal, calling millions of buried war machines from their graves. When the time comes, Aloy must stand against the Shadow, but she will not fight alone. Go to the Palace of the Sun, and that will give us 17,000 XP and one skill point. But I don't need the skill points anymore, to be honest. I've, I've you know, maxed out everything, which is fantastic. All right, guys, so I will meet you, I don't know, near Avada, I guess. Hey, guys, okay, looks like we're here now. I don't know what to expect, man. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm excited to see... Oh, look, there's Erend. I don't want to trigger a conversation, maybe, maybe not now, but... um. Yeah, man, it's. I'm nervous, but very excited and... I'm eager to obviously see the ending, but I'm also sad, guys, because this has been a very enjoyable experience for me, you know, playing this wonderful game, a game I thought I would hate. <laughs> anyway, guys, Avard's here, so let's talk to him. What's up, dude? What do you do all day? You just sit there reading that book. <laughs> all right, guys, let's do it. Aloy, hey, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your radiance. Yes, 
Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm... I'm glad that's behind us. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Oh, okay. I assume she's told him everything. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know if you remember that video. Oh my goodness, way back. I don't know, part 20 or something. I can't remember. Um, so we completed a mission for Erend's uh, Aaron's sister, Ursa. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm trying to piece the memories together because this was a while back. Um, I was very new to the game and I chose the fist option for Avad and I felt terrible doing so because <laughs> it was I didn't mean to be so mean to him, you know? Avad's cool, man, but um, anyway, whatever. All right, where, what do I have to do? Talk to Blameless, Maraud. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Okay. What's up, dude? Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came from Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. Okay. For me. Don't be so humble. Oh, guys, I hope... I don't want to get too excited, but are we going to meet our allies we've met throughout the game? That would be amazing. But anyway, the ridge. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. Okay, the spire? And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. Okay, what happens now? I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Guys, I am so nervous, man. I'm hyped as well. Oh, what's this? Rest before the final battle. Visit both defense sites, and that's optional. Uh, review preparations at the ridge. Review preparations at the spot. Oh, what's that? Sobek Journal. What? Oh, sorry, guys. I just... Oh, it disappeared. I was reading the top left-hand corner, but um, I, I don't understand. What's this? No, that's not it. What? Oh, whoa, okay, what's all this? File damage, uh, sorry, file damage under repair, okay. Um, I don't understand. <laughs> sorry, I don't get it. It came up, though. Oh, my goodness, sorry, guys. Oh, here we go, check it out, okay. Sobek Journal 11 19, uh, 19, uh, 19, 2064. Okay, just wrapped inspection of Guy Prime site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room reminds me of Starship Bridges on those cheesy old <laughs> science fiction videos. Okay. Um, living spaces for alphas already completed. Prefab modules. Fingers crossed we never have to seal ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. 
Spent last week at the Bryce site, designing uh, Zero Dawn project labs, drawing up protocols. The base where repurposing was huge, plenty of room for workspaces and residence blocks. The work crews already set up my office stroke lab. I'm not a fan of the glass wall. Guess Murray's intention was to ensconce me, as I've never heard of a word like that, uh, as all seeing presence. Ugh. Opposite effect. Makes me feel watched, on display, tempted to paint it over. Harris recorded his presentation yesterday. Suitably bleak. Scheduled to record mine Friday. So that's the presentations they did in Deep Secrets, I think. As soon as reception, lounge, holo theatres and first residence block at Zero Dawn sites are finished, we'll start processing the candidates being held outside Tuscan. 27 already. Extraction teams prioritising Pacific Rim and Aussie candidates. How scared and confused they must be, snatched off the street. Oh, that's crazy, guys. So... Uh, okay, so it was like um, Elizabeth Sobek said, look, I want him, him, her, and him, etc. And, I don't know, some secret co-op team just, <laughs> they just grabbed them. That's, that's insane. Kidnapped them. Anyway, carted across the world, held in cells, hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Going to catch a few hours sleep here, then fly back to the Zero Dawn site. Harris promised delivery of... QB lattices by noon. Expect MK1 will take two weeks to machine, assemble, and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 06T grounding. From there, I'll spin her up past 10T. Is that the Turing thing? You know, the intelligence, emotional, whatever. Anyway, wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.3T record. MIE can go hang. Sleep. All right, and there's another one, guys. Okay, Sobic Journal, uh, 7 -16 Last time I visited Prime was November of last year. Months since have been a blur. Flew out last night to oversee installation of the central armature and the master override. You're welcome, Ted. Which was completed by 04.30. So I decided to grab a few hours of sleep here before heading back to Zero Dawn. Called Gaia before I bedded down. On ostensibly to update her on the site plan but the truth is i missed her i've developed a habit of speaking to her before i sleep seems to be the only thing that calms me these days woke to a message from oswald the odyssey launched yesterday so terrestrial life's chance of survival has doubled why then do i feel so uneasy i just keep wondering what kind of world far zenith will uh, create if the ship reaches its destination so many decades from now and i worry about the alpha builds of apollo so much knowledge so few restraints and no fail safes how will they avoid repeating our mistakes oh that's insane what's to stop them from playing god okay guys guys sorry time out just very quickly i need to interject here you remember i you, you know i hate ted farrow everybody hates him the guy's a cocksucker right I hate Ted Farrow for killing the Alphas, but guys, Elizabeth Sobek herself is actually saying or had the same concerns that Ted Farrow. Obviously, Ted Farrow went crazy. He went insane. He didn't have to take it that far. I mean, he's killed billions of people anyway. So what's a what's a handful of Alphas, you know? But the points I'm making is, he went nuts. He, you know, drove him mad or whatever, and he decided killing all the Alphas and wiping Apollo was the best solution. So I hated him for that. But guys, it's crazy because Elizabeth Sobek was having the same concerns. Sorry, I just knocked the mic there by accident. Um, so she had the same concerns about what Apollo could do to future humanity. Uh, well, my philosophy is you've just got to trust humanity. You know, there's nothing more they can do whatever whatever i'm just rambling okay forwarded the odyssey message to the alphas naoto replied in less than a minute with a poem of course the building of the ship by longfellow and it's long all right i didn't read all of it but it seems to be about launching a ship rather than building one this stanza or coupler or whatever leapt out at me humanity with all its fears with all its hopes of future years 
is hanging breathless on thy fate. Yeah, Odyssey and Zero Dawn both. Speaking of which, I should get back to Zero Dawn. Guess I should stop by Naoto's lab and check on... Demeter... I don't know how to pronounce that. De Demeter or Demeter's progress too. Sorry, I just had a lightning bolt. And another one, guys, if you will. Look, skip ahead. If you don't want to hear all this, just skip ahead. Whatever. <laughs> but hear me out. Poems. Naoto. Demeter. Has that got anything anything to do with the metal flowers we've been finding anyway if so let me know in the comments if i can get out there without a volume of t tennyson pressed into my hands i'll count myself lucky till next time all right we've got two more i think they're still being repaired guys sorry i'm just stunned i didn't expect that that was awesome so elizabeth sobek also felt Oh, I don't know, man. Apollo might be dangerous. But guys, look, the thing is, look, I know... I know they're having concerns like that. Well, it's too late anyway. Ted Farrah killed everybody, whatever. <laughs> but the point I'm making is, um, you've got to... Look. Oh, you're shaking me, guys. Really? No, we've read that. That's gone. Okay. Everyone needs a splash. You know, we've made mistakes. Oh, when I say we, I mean <laughs> the humans in this, in this game. I'm so sorry, guys. What What's this? Number one. That's probably Olin's thing. I don't want to go there. Don't pass up these good. Hold on, guys. Okay, what is this? I get it. My bad. Okay, guys, I'll just meet you down there. It's fine. I'll see you there soon. No, no. Hey, guys. Okay, it's telling me to go and take this elevator. This is probably the only time... Oh, sorry. The second time I've taken this elevator. I should have made more use of it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man, it's so hard to let go of this game because I know it's ending now. I'm so sad, guys. S anyway, yeah, what I was saying was, um, you know, we had our time. Ted Farrow fucked it all up, but you know what? Every human is kind of capable of what Ted Farrow was capable of, if that makes any sense. We all hold these traits within us. You know, violence, anger, stupidity... Also, compassion and goodness. I know. I know that. But um, we can't worry about future, uh, what Apollo could do or, or can't do. We've had our time. We're not going to make it. Leave it to the future. There's nothing more we, we could do, you know? That's the way I'm looking at it, really. This game really is so much deeper than what I thought it would be. Like I said at the beginning of the playthrough, guys, I legit thought it's just going to be a tribal game kind of thing and he, all he does is just hunt machines, which I was, yeah, looking forward to, but I had no idea there was going to be some absolutely incredible sci-fi attached to it. And, oh, there's a supply box. <laughs> all right, let's grab that, 30 metal shards. By the way, I sold all lenses and all uh what are the other ones hearts as well i sold everything guys all right so who's who okay so i want this one here and then we'll go to the spire all right guys polish that armor is it of course isn't that a little what nothing out with it forget i said anything you look very Dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Very shiny. <laughs> Gosh, it's up an Asha. And, um, oh my god, it's Ethan. Okay, wait, I just noticed. Teb? What the hell are you doing here, dude? Aloy, hey, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Guys, you know what? Put this in perspective. Uh, Ted. Ted. <laughs> sorry. Teb. Oh, another Sobek. Oh, one sec, guys. 
Okay, I really want to read these. Okay, just before I do though, Teb was there from part one. <laughs> you know, he was actually the first other character other than Rost that we met. That's insane, guys. Right, this is Sobek Journal 1031st 65. Is that Halloween? It is Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Travis came by trick or treating, dressed up like me. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. I gave him a half eaten packet of dandy wafers as a treat and kicked him out. <laughs> but not before he invited me to some kind of Italian horror extravaganza. He organized for Zero Dawn staff. Seriously, as though there isn't enough horror in the world already. Anyway, I was already uh, scheduled to f uh, fly out here to G Prime for final inspections with Harris and the President's delegation. Ted was here too, and he was not looking good. Kept fidgeting and couldn't seem to look me in the face without blinking. I was relieved when he boarded his vert and flew back to Thebes. Gag. <laughs> Thought, uh, though I guess I shouldn't complain. If he wants to build himself a deluxe shelter to ride out the apocalypse, let him. My god, what a son of a bitch, guys. Ugh, anyway, keeps him out of Elysium and away from me. Harris stuck around long enough to give me a detailed briefing on the strategic situation. Basically, we've entered the terminal phase. As though the colour of the sky when I was flying over here wasn't clue enough. Gosh, that's awful, guys. Another two or three weeks and the atmosphere won't be breathable. Uh, breathable. My goodness. The last vestige, uh, vestiges of European and West African Civ brigades are trapped with their backs against the Atlantic. The swarm that scuttled across Antarctica is crossing the Straits of Ma Magellan? Magellan? About to start its death crawl up South America towards the Amazon. All the work we did to reconstitute the rainforest, and it comes to this. And advanced elements of the Pacific swarms are already skirmishing with units on the Kalmar Seawall. The noose is tightening. Projections show we can still finish in time, but the margin of error is plus minus 10 days. Not a good spread. If the plague breaks through ahead of schedule, well, it just can't. I will not let this happen. Enough writing. I need to get back to Zero Dawn. <laughs> wow, guys. <laughs> That's insane. All right, let's... Wait. Really couldn't be more different than could it? Oh, it's nice to see Teb again. So, wait, is there more people? I'm going to speak to Vanash. Uh, Alida? I recognize the name. I don't know who she is. Alida. Oh, Alida, I know who she is. Oh, my God, Sun and Shadow. Oh, that was so sad, guys. That was a super sad. Alida, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you. What is it? Be safe. Oh man, it's nice to see her. Three antidotes. Oh man, it's nice to see her, guys. It, that was a very, very sad quest. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Lucid? <laughs> as many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. <laughs> Guys, she is in love with Uthid. Anyway, let's talk to them. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all, but I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. 
The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise on a better world. Damn, I did realize it, it was very cheerful in the beginning, but then it got very. Oh, let's talk to Uthid. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the Low Gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy... It was done well. Although, I can't shake this road. Vinasha. She delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. <laughs> Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. That's awesome. Oh, I hope these two get married, guys. <laughs> all right, so I don't want to miss anybody. So there's a leader. Poor girl, she's all by herself. All right, who's next? Is anyone else? Who are you? Nakoa! Oh, my God! <laughs> that was Zaid, the Zaid quest. And there's... Geneva? I can't remember who that is. Petra! <laughs> I love Petra. Oh, gosh, this is awesome, man. Oh, I'm getting emotional, man. Anyway, what's up, Nakoa? Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot, especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is open. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Oh. All right, Geneva, who... Oh, I remember her. That was the prison, wasn't it? Geneva, they called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. That's a nice spear, Uthid. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right, who are you? Him? From the Battle of the Dawn? Can't. What? Cinnabar Sands was before that, and there were no survivors. Well, I don't like the ghost. Nil! Oh, son, keep the shadow from falling upon me. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Nil in the subtitles. Hey, Nil, what's up, dude? Oh, I'm so happy I didn't kill him, guys. I'm so happy. This is awesome. Nil? Hey, you they told me your name. I said, hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by that. Still, I forgive. 
A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. <laughs> but you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? <laughs> Guys, look, I know you, some of you have been saying Nil is a fan favorite. I can see why. He's he's a legend. He's awesome, man. All right, we've got Petra now. There has to be some more. What's that? A training dummy? Okay, don't want that. don't care. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. I don't think. It's Petra, guys. She's awesome. I remember her as well. She's awesome. Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Oh, yes, please. It needs me to say, oh, guys, I love these cannons. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. All right, so... Okay, nothing really. Just pick this up, I guess. Okay, L2 and RT. I remember... Oh, yeah, I remember. So you hold it down and then release to fire, isn't it? So there's one there. It hits nice and wide. Ooh. No need to aim like a bow. This one here as well. Range is good. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> see? That'll knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. Okay, I can see charges up. Hold off and on. Okay, so that's fully charged. So you get more. Whoa, the trees. Whoops, sorry. Guys, I swear there were some striders up there. I wonder if I can. No, they're too far. <laughs> well, I can't see them. All right, guys, we'll leave. Talk to Petra. I, I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle up. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see each other again. I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. Okay, it seems like there was a bit more to it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, whatever. All right, guys, we're going to go to... Final... Pre Sorry, I'm trying to read this. Uh, final preparations... Sorry, review preparation at the spire. Okay, cool. So that would be. I've never been up here, guys. All right, give me a sec. How can I get there? Oh, guys, I'll tell you what. Let me meet you down there. Hey, guys, we're nearly there now. So we just need to go up this mountain, I guess. So I wonder who. Well, I hope. Oh, wait, what the. <gasps> what? Our attack! <laughs> no way! In attack! No way! And who are you? I don't know who you are, but whatever. Our attack! What's up, buddy? Our attack? I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This one of Nowarak, he may have taken too many blows to the head, but he's a good fighter and strong. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth, and I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. Oh my god, guys, that is so awesome. Can I speak to you guys as well? All right, excellent. Have you come to defend my honor, Hinnatut? I know you don't need any help with that, but from all I've heard, you found yourself a good fight here. So I'll stand this ground with you. You won't have ever seen a fight like this. And we only get one shot at it. 
I've been told I'm in over my head before, Nora girl. You know what I say. I'm always in over my head. <laughs> Guys, just, just remember those two demonic frost claws that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> but anyway, I have no idea who this is. You're the hunter from the Banu Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. Gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I do not remember who she is. Oh, was it gonna rain? Guys, wow, this is awesome. I know what this is, guys. This is like the calm before the storm. I reckon the battle is gonna be horrific, but um, but it's really nice to catch up with all of these characters that we met along the way, you know? It, it's awesome, guys. All right. I do not want to miss anyone, so I just want to kind of keep looking around. I can't see anybody. I mean, it's errand. Oh, what about Val? He should be here, right? <gasps> Talana! <laughs> guys, it's Talana. Talana, why are you here? Oh, I love it, guys. Where else would I be? Marry me, Talana. The Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> oh, so good to see you guys. Damn, she's so hot. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here. All right, so who else? I don't want to miss anybody. Okay, nothing here. Okay, let's keep going. I know it's just random. Is there any way to get up there? And if so, is there any secret thingies up there? <laughs> just wondering. All right, so who else? Who else? Okay, we got one, two. Why well, have I got this? I don't want that. One, two, and three. So we got three groups or just three people to speak to. Let's try. Let's try it first. It Who are you? Taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frill armor look like turkeys, but there are so many, and now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The anointed. Oh, Sona. Sona's awesome, man. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. Wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Oh, it's good to see her. I don't blame her for feeling like this, honestly. She's not really f uh, forgiven the Karja. And according to their beliefs, the Nora beliefs, this land is tainted. Anyway, right. So who have we got now? Okay, who are you? Vol! <laughs> What's up, dude? Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. 
I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? <laughs> Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Wow. Oh, so good to see Val. Guys, I'm just getting this nostalgia thing. Like, <laughs> I remember, you know, from three months ago. Yeah, it's been about three months. Okay. All right, give me a sec. Aaron's good. Uh, guys, there has to be there has to be more. Can't just be this. Wait, what's that? Right, a sonar. What's that? Naman. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna check as well. Wait. How does your gaze fall? In approval or approach? Turn our heads with your daily pilgrimage. From the east where we came to the west where only you may go. You grant cold metal the warmth of life and let the machines bask in your great shining. For you, the shadows shrink and part and gather again only at your allowance without form. Your eyes, the day, your ears, the priests, your lips, the radiant sun king, as there was before and will be again, your light. I do remember who he is now. Naman, I should have known if there was going to be a sun priest here, it would be you. And if the Sun King had allowed Outlanders to set foot upon the Alight, this Aloy could only be you. I wish the circumstances were different. Or that the Psalms of the Sun could give you peace of mind. But if you'll allow me one pontification... Go ahead. You've shown strength and compassion. Our enemies only a desperate hate. Both sides claim the blessing of the Sun. But the Sun that I pray to, it would bestow it upon yours. You know, Naman, I'm already under some pretty heavy divine pressure, but I'll try to live up to it. The tribes united against Shadow. How could that not be the sun's will? Well, good to see him. It's a shame we could have done like more quests with him. I don't know, but I um, don't really know much about this dude. Okay. Uh, come on, it has to be anyone else. <laughs> Alright guys, you're not screwed. Let's just let's just go here. If I've missed anybody, please. Who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? <laughs> when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? <laughs> I don't know. There used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. Let's not get cocky, boys. <laughs> Guys, I've always said this, but I love the Osram battle armor. I just wish, you know, even the helmet as well. I wish uh, there was one uh, that Aloy could have had a female version. Would have been awesome. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure, but there's going to be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line. <laughs> and why? Steel before iron! And what are we going to do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! <laughs> That's that? awesome. Nobody's getting past the Vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. 
Only if we win. Wow, that's awesome, guys. Oh, is that it? Okay, that's been crossed off now. Rest before the final battle, guys. This is it, man. At least I can climb all this. Oh, so big general. Okay, let's have a look. Guys, I did all tech data points uh, for quests. Um, but I missed a lot of world data points. Hey, in the future, I'll do a playthrough. Um, we'll get everything. But anyway, whatever. Right, so big general. Um, first, 1566. Such a close thing. It's been, what, 43 hours since Harris warned me? Said collapse of the eastern line was imminent. Swarms launching some kind of pincer maneuver versus the Wichita salient. Five or six days more, and I think Guy would have, could have launched without our help. I really do. We had to scramble. Zero Dawn became a madhouse. Absolute bedlam. Every team rushing to stabilize code and lock it down as Gammas got evacuated, then Betas. Once Gaia was on her way, I gathered the Alphas together to give them the bad news. Felt like I was going to throw up. But they already knew, of course. They knew the work wasn't really finished. Close, but not quite there. Still tests to run, kinks to smooth, work to do. So they accepted it. No Elysium for us. Wow. So that's why. We'll spend the rest of our lives here testing and polishing each subordinate function to perfection. Guess, guess that's what you get when you recruit a bunch of obsessive perfectionists. Managed not to cry until I got back to my office. So here we are, setting up Gaia Prime. And yeah, such a close thing. Makes me feel nauseated all over again when I contemplate how the fate of life could hinge on coincidence. If I'd never proposed a light keeper protocol, which is what? What is that? There never would have been living spaces constructed here. If I'd abandoned the protocol sooner, the necessary life support systems never would have been installed. If, if, if. At least we won't have to endure the creepiness of raising and training clones of ourselves. Is that what that is? Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> All right, the genetic material was never processed out of the cradle site. So it's not even possible, for which I am glad. I really, really wouldn't want to spend time around a young Travis Tate, raised by Travis Tate. <laughs> no, it'll be up to us to perfect Gaia, one generation only. I get it, guys. I can see why having a duplicate of yourself to carry on your work. I can see how that could be useful, but it is weird. But anyway, update. That was General Harris. The salience has collapsed. A uh, United States Rebel Command expects to be overrun in two days, which gives us 72 hours at best to lock down and seal up. Buried alive for life's sake. I'll go tell the others. Oh, that's so horrible, guys. That's horrible. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> I wasn't very lucky in finding all of these wild ones, but anything to do with quests, I did the best I could. But uh, on a future... Oh, Frozen Wilds? I'm missing a data point here. Really? Oh, that sucks. I'll probably do this off ca uh, recording, guys. All right, so what's our next mission? We just have to rest before the final battle. Guys, I think this is it now. <laughs> this is it. All right, I'll meet you back at uh, where uh, Olin's place. I'll see you there, guys. All right, guys, we're here. This is it. Let me just remove this flag. We're actually here. This is it now. Final battle time, guys. I am shit scared, but very excited. Oh. Feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? And who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, a bit creepy, but whatever. All right, guys, let's do this. I've checked all my arrows, everything. Um, I'm probably going to put bombs back. I'll do that after. Look, I don't know what we're facing, so we'll figure this out as the battle commences. All right, we're going to do it now, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, God damn it. All right, rest before the battle. No way back. Do more preparations. Guys, there's nothing more I can do. Let's just do, do this. Sleep. 
Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Thank you.